Je dors pas pendant les interviews, moi, monsieur <rire> Alors, bon, bah c'est vrai qu'il est encore parti. Euh, il est au griffon bleu en train de chercher des jeux vidéo. J'imagine donc je me retrouve encore à faire l'interview. Ce qui ne me dérange pas, parce que je suis vraiment en très charmant compagnie avec Colin Clickenbeard, qui est euh, voice actress principalement, et qu'on a entendu sur, sur plein de choses. On a entendu sur Full Metal Alchemist, sur Dragon Ball Z, dans des jeux vidéo Borderlands. You did Lilith. I did, and Tannis. And Tannis. Uh, you, you were the sorceress in Ox Must Die. Uh-huh. And so many things, like your, your Wikipedia page is long. <laughs> long. What, what does a voice actor, and a voice director, because you're also a voice director, what do you do? How does it work? Uh, how does, how does dubbing that? work? Yeah, yeah. That's a, <laughs> how long do you have? Um, okay. A quick version. <laughs> okay, so uh, basically what happens is we get the video and the audio over from Japan and then our translation department translates everything and then the uh, it has to be adapted so the script writers take that translation and the video and they marry the two so it's uh it, it they try to take the translation and make it sound like it would be spoken in english uh make it a little bit more colloquial a little less stilted uh and sound if you don't want it to sound too translation -y. Okay. Um, and uh, then they uh, send it to the director and the producer and the director watches everything in Japanese so they know what's going on and then cast the show and uh, the voice actor comes in one by one we record only one at a time uh, you don't want everybody in the booth at the same time or it's really difficult for timing <laughs> Uh, and uh, you put the one person in the booth and we get to see two screens. We have a, scre a screen with the script and we have a screen with the video so we can see the mouth moving. And uh, we hear three beeps to let us know when our cue starts. And our cue starts right when that mouth starts to open. Um, so we'll hear beep, 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 and then you see the video mouth open and that's when I'm talking. So if my line is, uh, no thank you, I don't want any, Then I hear beep, 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 and I say, no thank you, I don't want any. And it should go, no thank you, I don't want any. Nice. <laughs> If it fits. Would you consider yourself a voice actress or an actress? I would consider myself an actress. Um, I've been acting since I was 12, and I actually majored in acting in college. And so theater acting is where my background is. I've never gotten to try much on camera work, which I always intended to try. Uh, but I started doing voice acting and I got so wrapped up in it and it <laughs> takes up so much time I just haven't had any time to do it. So which one would you rather do? Uh, theater or voice acting? Probably voice acting at this point. I loved theater for a long time um, But voice acting is just so freeing. I can do any I can be a teenage boy pirate made of rubber and I and you're not to do that. a teenage boy That's right. <laughs> I, I wouldn't get to do that on, on stage. So. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you, you told me when you started, like, you were really young. How? Started, yeah, in 2004. Yeah, how did it start? Um, I have a friend uh, named Laura Bailey, and uh, she and I were in a play together in 2003. And she was already working at Funimation. She was Kid Trunks in Dragon Ball Z okay. and uh, a bunch of others. And uh, she, she was one of the first female voice actors that uh, Funimation had, actually. And she brought me in to watch her record so that she could try to kind of get me in the door. <laughs> <laughs> She's a good friend. And um, so I came and watched her record, and she was being directed by Chris Bevins at the time. And he asked if I wanted to get in the booth and try something. And so he got, shoved me in the booth. And the only thing he had was one bit part of a woman who screamed. So I just got in the booth and I screamed. And uh, that got me the audition for Rachel in Case Closed. <laughs> <laughs> well, best audition ever. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you, you've been dubbing uh, animes and video games. Mm -hmm. Are there any difference between the two? Huge difference, yeah, it's totally different. Uh, dubbing for anime, it, anime is dubbed into English, so it's already been completed. Somebody already did that character, and they've uh, animated the mouth movements to the Japanese. So when we go in, our job is really to fill it in and make it look like that animation is um, on purpose. And so it's kind of a backward way of looking at things. Uh, for video games, you just get to say it however you want to say it. And there's a lot of freedom, and then they animate that to your mouth, to you, the way you speak. 
So uh, it's it's flip flopped, and uh, it's much much easier to act for a video game. Yeah, so you much video quicker. Game. Oh, it's so much more <laughs> fun. But it also only comes around. There's only so many video games. I get you know five or six video games yeah. a year, and anime I do every day. So. Oh, nice. Uh, were you a gamer, or did you like <laughs> animes? Or oh, any of those? Right. Or right. are you now? Maybe. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, the fandom. Um, I had I had no idea what anime was okay. before Laura. Before I met Laura, and uh, I watched Fruits Basket before I got into being a voice actress. And so I was introduced to anime through becoming a voice actress. Video games. Um, I guess I don't know when it happened, but I I was a I I played video games before I voiced video games. But I only played the old school RPGs, <laughs> so uh, I played um, like Champions of Norath was a big one for me. And uh, now that they've gotten so much better, they're also harder. So I really want to play them, but I don't know how, and I don't know how to catch up. It's too late. Uh. <laughs> Maybe when my kid gets older and he starts playing video games, Maybe. then I'll, I'll learn so I can play with him. Yeah, I love them, but. <laughs> Okay, um. Ah, oh, c'est vrai. Je, 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 j'ai rien trouvé. C'est quand même cher là-bas, hein? Salut! Hi! Hi! How are you? How are you doing? Pretty good. Okay. Are you late? Uh, no. I mean. No, welcome! Alright. Uh. Well, I'm just glad you, you were in. Like, this morning you were not, and the previous one you just left, so I'm Thanks just for glad I'm not away. <laughs> funniest moment of voice acting you had? Oh, funniest moment. Or weirdest, or your favorites? Okay. Uh, Mike McFarland is a director that I really love working with, and uh, he and I laugh a lot in the booth. And um, there was one time uh, during Trinity Blood when uh, Esther, who I play, was holding a gun on somebody. And uh, someone else comes up behind her and captures her, basically, and then takes the gun away from her. And as they take the gun, her as she follows her hand and they take the gun, she just has one mouth movement. It just goes flap, and that's it. And we couldn't, for the life of us, figure out what to put in that flap <laughs> that would look good. So we spent like 30 minutes just going, gun? No? Mine? <laughs> and we still do that to this day. Anytime there's one flap, we'll start going, Gun? Mine? Please? Stop? <laughs> it's fun to fill flaps. <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, question. Hmm? Yeah, like, um, you know, I- I've got a friend of mine who do some similar job, uh-huh. but another kind of, like an adult film. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and so, you said that when they are doing like uh, voice acting, most of the time they are improvising and putting <laughs> some like inside joke inside the movie. Do you have the same liberty? I think it could be a little different with adult films. Yeah. <laughs> My guess is there's not a lot of money to script adult films, <laughs> and they probably encourage you to add in whatever might be amusing. Yeah. Um, whereas the ones that we do, uh, they're definitely scripted because people get offended if you don't take it seriously. Um, actually, like we can get in trouble if we put uh, extra features, if you put like outtakes on... on uh, people like to hear bloopers of us messing up, yeah. but sometimes that can be considered not taking it seriously yeah. by the Japanese, so they'll get yeah. upset. So oh. we don't have like, any... Not much leeway okay. with the script. <laughs> we have... A, a little challenge for you. Okay. Uh oh. Are you ready? No, I'm scared. Are you ready to agree? No, I'm scared. Ooh. Say no. Say no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. V- voice acting challenge. Like okay. It's, it's If I don't want to do it, I'll pretend I don't understand you. Exactly. Yeah. Awesome. I'm French. You can. Yeah. <laughs> um, you have to pick in all your acting career, like some of your favorite characters, mm-hmm. and have three sentences and one character for each sentence. For each sentence. Whoa, that was a lot of numbers. Three sentences. Three sentences. For each character. Yeah. No, one for each character you choose. You pick. Oh, okay. So you just want me to say three lines in three different characters. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, great. You're three different. And you can say... Yeah, I can do that. And just name the character. Yeah, oh yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Okay. Okay. 
you can pick the character depending on the sentence, right? Oh, you're gonna give me the sentence. Oh yeah. Oh fun. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. First sentence. Yes. Is Otakuton is the bestest, awesomest place to be. Otakuton is the bestest, awesomest place to be. That was Monkey D. Luffy from One Piece. <laughs> nice. Okay. The second one is as a condition. Uh, did you eat poutine here in Canada? In I Quebec? have, not this time, but I have. Okay, okay. so you know so what poutine is. I know what poutine is. Okay. Great. Pick a character and tell us what poutine is. And tell you what poutine is? <laughs> 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 okay. Um, this is Tannis from Borderlands. Poutine is a foul creation created by the Canadians to torture Americans. It is French fries, which are delicious, covered in some kind of disgusting brown gravy and cheese curds. Who thought of this? <laughs> Bacon is for sycophants and products of incest, by the way. Where's the coffee? <laughs> awesome. Okay, the last one is going to be the one where you, where you are going to have some trouble. <laughs> Because it's in French. Oh dear. Oh dear. It, it's a short sentence. Okay. A few words. Okay. It's J'aime l'entre du geek. J'aime l'entre du geek. L'entre du geek. L'entre du geek. Du geek. Is it geek at the end? Du geek. Yeah. L'entre du geek. Right. Yep. And j'aime Which means I, I love l'entre du geek. Yep. Exactly. J'aime l'entre du geek. Okay. J'aime l'entre du geek. Um, let's just make it nice and easy and we'll do you go. Yuko from Holic. J'aime l'eau du geek. That's the sexiest. <laughs> 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 Be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank I just you. have two bonus questions. That yep. They are like my signa- signature move. Like I oh, always great. ask those questions to okay. everybody I meet. Um, yes and chocolate. No. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, the first one may okay. work, but for the second question. Not so. going to work. Oh, okay. Do you uh, want to go out with me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and why should I bring to the first day? Okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> what's the last, the, what's, what's the latest, the last comic book you read? Last comic book I read was Buffy the Vampire Slayer. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Last oh. Unicorn. Better. <laughs> <laughs> and... Last question is an easy one because it's only three words. The answer may not be that easy. Okay. Are you happy? I'm ecstatic. Great answer. <laughs> <laughs> I have a baby. Oh. oh. I am ecstatic. <laughs> well, congratulations to you on your career and your baby. Thank you. And um, we are so happy to have met, met with you. Ah, thank you. This is fun. <laughs> I like that last question. That's a good question to ask yeah. people. I love to, I love to ask this question to people because you always get an interesting answer. Oh. Always.